Hello! In this reading we'll concentrate on summer 2021. I'll do two or maybe three spreads depending on how it goes. I'll try to stay positive. So in the first spread I'll be asking for the next good thing that'll happen to you this summer, kind of like I do in my Beware readings at the end of those readings. And then we'll just uh, play by the year. I may ask for clarification or I may ask for another good thing that will happen to you this summer. Hopefully this video resonates with you. If it does, please like, share and subscribe. And other than that, have an amazing summer. Hi Capricorn, here's the next good thing that will happen to you this summer. We have the Moon, clarified by the Two of Wands. We have Justice. We have the Chariot, clarified by the Ten of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the King of Cups with the Will of Fortune and the Ace of Cups. And we also have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. You could also be dealing with a Libra or another Capricorn or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. Um, and then a very interesting uh, reading, Capricorn. Um, the good news is that you will definitely be moving towards a commitment at the end. But what, happen, what happens first will vary for, for some of you, right? So some of you will be deciding between two different suitors and others of you will be deciding about just one person but if it's just one person you're dealing with then you're not going to be a hundred percent sure about this person in the beginning right um, so we've got the devil on the bottom of the deck all the way on to the right this is your card capricorn that is you unless you're dealing with another capricorn and i really like the fact that the devil came out and it came out on the bottom of the deck it, it is always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading and since it came out on the bottom of the deck this definitely symbolizes that you're going to be the one in charge, you're going to be the one calling the shots here. Right, so we've got uh, the King of Cups in the potential outcome uh, right there. Uh, the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. The King of Cups could symbolize somebody who is in control of their emotions, somebody who is mature, but at the same time they're still very loving. And it could be the person coming towards you or it could be one of the people coming towards you. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. The first guy that came out on the left is the Moon and it's clarified by the Two of Wands. The Moon is the personal uh, Pisces card, but I think in this case this is you, Capricorn. That is your energy. And uh, you're a little bit unsure about this person coming towards you. Or you're a little bit unsure about as to which one of the two suitors to choose from. The moon is clarified by the two of wands. Right? The two of wands is either you trying to make a decision to move forward with this person or not. Or you're trying to decide between two different suitors. And uh, if you're deciding between two different suitors, the King of Cups is most likely going to be the winner. <laughs> We're just not seeing the other suitor here in the spread. But since the King of Cups showed up, uh, surrounded by, by such amazing cards, and we'll get to that in just a second, then I, I would just have to assume the King of Cups is going to be the one you're moving forward. Right, so, but with the uh, moon and the teal ones, this is you trying to make a decision. You're struggling a little bit there. The next card I came out is justice, so um, verdict is in. That's as simple as that. With that justice card, you're making a decision to move forward with this person or you're making a decision to move forward with this King of Cups if you're dealing with two suitors. Justice is the personal Libra card, you could be dealing with a Libra, but I think this is, as I was just saying, the verdict is, the verdict is in, you're making that decision. And uh, speaking of moving forward, the next card I came out is the Chariot, and uh, the Chariot is clarified by the Ten of Cups. The Chariot is the personal Cancer card, you could be dealing with a Cancer, or if we want to stay general, then the Chariot is all about moving forward, it's all about this relationship uh, taking off like a rocket, so once you've made up your mind, once you've uh, made a decision, there is no stopping of this relationship. Um, the Chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck. The Chariot is also a card of a victory, so you will definitely feel like you made the right choice. 
And the Ten of Cups, clarifying the chariot, this is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. This is the happily ever after card. So this is what you're moving towards with this person. So speaking of the person, like I said, the King of Cups is either the winner or the person you're dealing with. And the next card I came out in the potential outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is also a card of movement. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of a starting a new cycle. And then we also have the Ace of Cups right there. The Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love offers. This is um, always genuine and authentic love offer coming from this King of Cups. And this is the love offer you are accepting. Because the Wheel of Fortune right there, this is the start of a new cycle. So the offer is accepted. <laughs> so this looks like a like a pretty good deal to be honest with you yes you're struggling a little bit in the beginning yes you're gonna get a little bit emotional about this decision you're gonna get um, you're gonna need some time to think it through but when you do come out of that energy when you do make that firm decision with the justice card it's gonna take off like a rocket um, we do have a commitment card here with the Ten of Cups, right? We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have you, we have this King of Cups, we have love, we've got all the ingredients we need for a very successful, amazing connection. All right, so I'm not going to clarify this in the second spread. Uh, in the second spread, I will ask for another <laughs> good thing that'll happen to you this summer, and it could be applicable to the same group of you, uh, Capricorns, or it could be applicable to another group. All right? Here's another good thing that will happen to you, Capricorn, this summer. Um, we have the Two of Swords clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And we also have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. And I couldn't resist it. I looked underneath the Lovers and we've got the Sun. You could be dealing with a Gemini or pretty much any sign. This is a general read. I believe this Reading is about your work, business, and finances. And uh, you will be facing a choice during the summer. At some point during the summer, somebody will make you an offer, or it could be two different offers. Right? So we have uh, the lovers on the bottom of the deck, all the way to the right. The lovers is the personal Gemini card, but I think in this spread, it's all about you choosing between two different work offers or choosing between two different business adventure offers or investment opportunities or you're choosing to collaborate with either one person or another person and uh, the lovers uh, we have the sun underneath the lovers card the sun is all about clarity in this particular spread so at some point you will be clear as to which way to go which job offer to accept or which business adventure to go forward with. The first card I came out is the Two of Swords on the left. It's pretty much the same thing. The Two of Swords in this spread, this is the Crossroads card. So like I said, at some point during the summer you will have um, a choice to go left or to go right. And uh, you are rejecting one offer, you're walking away from that offer, so you could accept another offer. The Two of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. The Eight of Cups, this is you walking away from one offer, or you're choosing to go left, or you're choosing to go right. And the Four of Cups, this is a card of a rejection, so you're rejecting one, so you could go forward with another one. Right, then we have the Four of Pentacles in the middle. The Four of Pentacles uh, is a pretty good card when it comes to work, business, and finances. The Fourth Pentacles in work, business, and finances spread. This is always money coming in. This is you holding on to your money. This is going to be enough money for you to save, to set aside, to open a savings account, or to deposit more money than usual to your savings account. So if you are choosing to start a new job, it will pay more or they will give you a sign-up bonus, something among those lines, right? And uh, if this is an investment opportunity, then it will pay off more than another investment opportunity. The next card I came out is the Nine of Pentacles, and it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the best cards when it comes to work, business, and finances. This is 
a card of somebody who is rich or richer. This is a card of somebody who is uh, <clears throat> enjoying their wealth. And it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, this is like I said, money coming in. Right? You are definitely making the right choice here. And uh, the last card that came out is the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of a victory. This is a card of recognition. This is a card of feeling great. So whatever choice you're making, it's going to be the right choice. All right? Uh, but don't take this spread for granted. Still do your research. Still do your homework. Spend as much time as uh, needed. Because I don't really see an urgency here. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a decision you'll have to make on the fly. Right? I don't think it's going to be a hot offer. I don't see anything like that. I think you will have time to think this offer through and do your research and make the right decision. All right? But once you do make the right decision, you'll be counting your coins. All right, Capricorn, that's what I got for you for the summer. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing summer. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.